There will be deck. Good morning and welcome back to Building a House from Trees. This week's episode, I get the back wall um, framed in, the final bit of exterior framing on the house uh, done and downstairs as well. I didn't got a big door set up, but I've just left a four by eight opening. Uh, I'll probably just do a sheet of plywood. Um, I also frame in a small access door to the second story loft and get a bunch of little trees cut in front of the house for a little more afternoon light and things that could kind of blow over and land on the roof. So let's just jump right into it. Thanks for tuning in and uh, I appreciate all the comments, all the positive feedback. It's really nice every week and um, there's a lot coming up in the next few weeks, months. I don't know the exact schedule yet, but uh, there's a lot to do here and everywhere I look, there's a million projects to be done. It's it's not overwhelming because it will be done, but uh, you know, a lot of it's fun too. Like framing this deck is gonna be, the second story deck is gonna be really fun. I've just gotten some metal back brackets fabricated. And so uh, that'll, that'll start soon. And then getting this big door window in uh, right there. And another freebie. And uh, yeah, the roof on the rooflet you know oh, and the stairs the second story stairs are framed in and it's fabulous and i'm not going to show you yet because uh that's coming up in the next week or two so uh thanks for tuning in and we will see you next week all right maybe sometime earlier than next week too So this is going to be the entrance door out to the second story loft and this is going to come from the guest room right here um, and that's going to go out to there. 
So I just want to get that finished framing in and close that in. Uh, so in the interim, I'm making a crappy little door out of the stuff that I uh, cut out of the plywood, the CDX half inch that I cut out of there. So I'll just frame this in extremely roughly and quickly with scraps and uh, put a couple hinges on it and some sort of remedial latch. That sunlight down there. Oh man, that is nice. Pouring in. All right, there's a crappy door. Whew. That is something, doesn't it? Right. Opens widely. All right, I need a few more two by sixes um, that to frame in that that uh, those that upstairs wall and the downstairs wall. Look at that, huh? Neat. Uh, and that stack over there is two by sixes. That's two by fours, and over there is two by sixes. And it's covered nicely, and I don't really want to disturb it. And those are for windows. I've kind of got those figured out. And uh, I got another log, the last of that old pine tree here, and I can get I think all the two by sixes I need for those two walls out of this. So I will do just that presently. I got this terrible door done and it works just like a terrible door should simply now to get this wall built and closed in that's gonna be nice and then I can poke around um, I, I just it's so cold and this is so high I haven't wanted to come up and uh, do this, but I should get it done. So now this lower wall, the last wall that needs to be framed, this is, there's gonna be an entrance here of some kind, probably right in there. And I put down these uh, one by way back, almost a year ago, uh, one by 12s and whatever, um, for a kind of a temporary deck for this loading dock. And I secured them screws and I just pulled them up and now I have to shift them back because I gotta 
put the um, studs down in there. Nine feet exactly. Oh, I don't have those. Oh, I do have those. I do. Okay, got a small stand of uh, spindly kind of crooked white pines right here that are providing some afternoon shadow that I've been meaning to thin out and uh, take down for a while. And the ground's really frozen still. It's going to warm up, so I want to get this done today before it gets too soft. And the uh, thing is, it's kind of a tight spot, but uh, with the winch and the tractor position right here, I think I can kind of pull them all right down on top of one another all into about the same spot without uh, hurting anything, landing on anything important. Let's see. And so what we have here is a pile of stems. Long, tall, thin pines that were uh, growing really, really close together and very tightly. So my neighbor up the road, Jeff, who is building a pole barn, uh, this, is the, this is what a pole barn is made out of, poles. And um, he's the one that's got the excavator and the bulldozer and yada yada. He and I are involved in all kinds of crazy schemes and rogue thoughts. But I'm going to um, probably use his tractor and take these up to drag these up the road to his house in two different loads. Uh, I'd do it with mine, but I got the chains on and I don't want to take the chains on the road that much. So anyway, yeah, I think this will come in handy for him. That's right. Easy. Well, one of the things that I even thought about, then I was just kind of distracted by other things. Um, I've got this extra two by out here um, as a, a nailer for the 
whatever for the floor and support and yada yada yada. And I knew this yesterday uh, when I was thinking about doing this and I got distracted by something else, but um, you'll see that's two inches out of plumb. And of course I didn't check that. Yeah, that's not the way it should be. I was wondering why that looks so strange. Now I know. Oh, sweetness. I put it in there too. Well, that's why we got big hammers, I guess. Kind of a weird detail, but I think that could be the subtitle for this uh, build series. Weird detail. It's all part of the envelope, so I want it to be nice and tight. that weird detail bottom I'll fill in with a board just like all the way around and uh, we'll pack that with dense pack cellulose or just rigid foam I don't know we'll see probably dense pack because that's what's in everything um, yeah getting there I haven't taped and insulated and uh, strapped this yet, but I will quite soon. Just 
One of those things.